So, finally, after what might be the most perplexing and annoying uh, story of a man named Brady and how his truck just wouldn't run to save its life, uh, we're here. We're finished out with the turbo install with the tune, and uh, we're running great. As you guys can see, obviously no check engine lights, no ABS faults, no airbag, no nothing giving me problems at all. Um, doing no small part to the guys at uh, Motor Machine uh, Super Shop here in Carmichael. Uh, they did an amazing job tuning this truck. Um, they went back and fixed everything that the previous shop had screwed up, and they had screwed up pretty terribly. Um, but they were able to get in there, fix it without, uh, well, without too much trouble. And once we got everything taken care of at the previous shop, everything uh, went pretty smooth. Uh, all things considered, you know, uh, we ended up replacing the map sensor, the ECM, and the pinouts for all those because the previous shop had screwed them up so badly and had replaced the map sensor with a uh, two bar, which wasn't going to work on this tune. Uh, See, then uh, when it came time to, you know, actually let the sh let Motor Machine do their job um, and tune the truck from where it should have been, uh, we ended up having to replace a set of spark plugs and the coil packs um, because we were dropping a cylinder at about 4,000 RPM and uh, it turned out it was one of the coil packs was bad, so we got a new set of coil packs in and uh, that pretty much did it. It was tuned up in about two hours, maybe three hours, and... Uh, we're making 279 rear wheel horsepower and 283 pounds of torque. Uh, roughly that translates to I think about 320 or 330 horsepower at the crank and um, a little over 300, 310 uh, pounds of torque I think at the, at the crank too. Uh, my math is probably way off on that because I'm an idiot. A uh, few things uh, about the truck. Uh, one, this thing is a blast to drive it's just so free now to do whatever it wants it just revs to 6,000 like it's nothing uh, it accelerates as if everybody else is standing still uh, it's not the most unbelievably stellar power I've ever felt in my life um, and it's not just brutish it's very it's very smooth uh, it doesn't really take you by surprise uh, you know and all that it's just it's there when you need it and you just feel just absolutely free to do whatever it is that you want to do and uh, I have to say I'm extremely happy uh, with the way that everything turned out again I couldn't do it without the guys at Motor Machine Super Shop uh, 05 Quick Port Orders, Corey, Emaxer, Mike, yeah I finally learned your name uh, you know all the encouragement from you guys on 355 Nation um, you know, all my sponsors, STS Turbo, of course, for building an amazing kit to begin with. Johnny uh, Vico for doing all the fab work. Uh, I can't begin to thank him enough. Uh, Ron at Sin City Customs for building all my cool billet parts and always being there to, you know, cheer me up whenever things were getting down. Uh, high LEDs for helping me out so far on everything. We got some really cool stuff coming from them for Autorama uh, in a couple weeks, so make sure you guys are sticking around for that. Uh, over the top performance, OTTP uh, helped me out with a cool set of 60-pound uh, Siemens fuel injectors and the EV1 uh, pigtail adapters for the wiring harness, and uh, and they've been a really valuable resource to have uh, as far as experience with these trucks and doing force induction. Um, but above all, guys, I, I definitely got to thank uh, thank Dad of all people. Uh, whenever everything was kind of getting me down or that, and and you know it was really a hard fight uh, with this thing. He took care of it. Um, you know, just reminded me, hey, keep it up. You know, we're we're so deep into this thing now that it makes no sense to to give up. And uh, I am so glad that we didn't. So, uh, you know, here we are now. We're making you know a ridiculous amount of horsepower for only being on five cylinders, and and uh, and its drivability is unbelievable. Um, you know, I really am impressed with uh, with how everything came out on just five and a half pounds. Yes, we're only on five and a half pounds, making over 300 crank horsepower on five cylinders. Uh, while that may not, you know, be cutting edge and everything uh, for a street truck, that's damn good. And the power band is uh, is right where you want it for a street car. Um, you know, 
it, it shifts good. It, you know, everything that you wanted it that you wanted to do to make it just the perfect little driver uh, with some power behind it is there. And uh, it, it's just a testament to the engineering and the workmanship that uh, everybody else that isn't me has put into it uh, because I'm kind of an idiot. So I turned to all these great, great people uh, to help me out, and they did not disappoint in the least. So, again, thank you all, guys. I really appreciate everything that you've done, all the work that you guys have put into this. And uh, now we're going to go to some videos of me making a few pulls and just see just how quickly uh, this thing goes from uh, basically just a, a light roll to about 50 or 60 miles an hour. So as I mentioned, drivability uh, just kind of does whatever you want it to. It's much more free uh, to do whatever you need it to. And here is a perfect example. We have a freeway on-ramp, uh, which shall remain nameless. But here's this cool little Super Outback up here in front of me. I can't really push him out of the way, but what I can do is put him behind me rather quickly. Going from about 40 miles an hour, not even, to 95. Uh, a little bit more quickly than the stock truck would. I'm not even sure if the stock truck would do 95, actually, with the limiters on it. But cruising at 70 miles an hour, we're at uh, about 2,050 RPM or so. Uh, you know, maybe a, little, maybe a little bit more. Just because I'm holding the camera and not really watching my speedometer and uh, in tack right now. So uh, I have a little bit of a correlate, uh, problem correlating between the two. And uh, the speed was a little bit off because the tire's uh, a little bit different size on this truck. So, but oh look, another freeway on ramp. This one's got a curve, so I'm not going to play with it so much. Because uh, this bitch will get loose real quick. There's no weight in the rear. No weight in the rear. So, uh, just heading back to work real quick. Show, uh, show my best friend who's working. This ought to cheer him up. Hear that little blow off valve uh, hiss. Wastegate pop. So, we're going to be working on his 67 Chevelle here very shortly. Uh, it's got a strokes small block 400 uh, that was made for circle traction be good for about 500 horsepower we're putting a four speed in it just finished putting 373 with posi uh, in it in a march uh, march pulley system because uh, that thing goes from uh, idle to about seven grand faster than you can blink so uh, pulleys were kind of a necessity and uh, the four speed is necessary because the old transmission can't handle it so uh, I'll probably be running against that thing here very shortly. He also has a Cobalt SS uh, with intake and exhaust that uh, we'll be finishing out next week. And uh, so we'll, we might be running against that one too just for fun. So thanks for tuning in, guys.